wanted to get out here and give this camera a shot and see if I might be able to find any fish or anything. So here I am. All right. Let's see what we can come up with here today. A little fish jumped over there. Water looks real nice. All right, I made it across. What I'm trying to do is get on the opposite side of the creek where the water is not flowing as fast so I can see if I can get in some of these little areas and find some fish there. So let's check it out and see if we can't catch anything here. I'd like to at least get a fish today if we can. I don't typically get a lot of opportunities to fish at this time of year because my son plays baseball and we're usually busy with that on the weekends. So I had some time this morning. I thought I'd sneak out here, try the new camera out, see if we might catch a few fish. So these little action cameras are really great. They're Acaso, I believe is how you pronounce it. The model number is a V50. And they shoot true 4K video, 30 frames per second. And they do have um, some image stabilization built in which is nice and I actually first saw these on yakking with Sarah's channel Sarah over there was showing off her camera and I really thought it did a good job so I looked at some cheaper cameras and I actually talked to her a little bit about it and she recommended not going with the cheaper one just from personal experience and going with one of these and the video they shoot is really good for what the camera costs. I believe they are normally like $110 on Amazon, but I've been able to pick up a couple in the um, high 80s uh, on lightning deals. I believe around $87, $88, something like that. And for that price, it's not going to be a GoPro, but they really do a good job, I think. I got one. Well, y'all aren't going to believe this. This is actually my first fish of the year because I haven't been fishing this year. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Ooh. Good colors already. And if y'all do not like watching people catch sunfish definitely don't watch me fish because I love catching sunfish nice little long ear there pretty colors not super active really it's kind of a little bit light of a take on it it barely took it and I didn't even know he was on there at first I thought I was just caught in that current but it was a fish so Small fish, but a good way to get started for the year. And I'm just happy to catch one. Anytime I get a tug on the line, I'm not very particular about what I'm catching. I just enjoy fishing. It's really windy. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Looks like there's a bunch of clouds rolling in. We might get some rain here before much longer. I knew it was supposed to rain tomorrow. It might roll in a little sooner than what I thought it was going to. I really enjoy fishing this small creek that I'm on right now and it can get pretty rough uh, during the spring. During the summer it's just fantastic because the water's low and you might have to drag your kayak across a few spots but you can get into some holes that are pretty large that have a lot of fish hold up in it. Uh, I've never caught any huge fish on this creek but they will really keep you busy and it's just a whole lot of fun. Oh, 
we got here? Uh oh. Nice little fish here. Another little sunfish. Pretty little fish. The water actually feels great right now. Uh, I'm just wearing some river shoes that I wear when I'm kayaking. And I kind of expected the water to be colder than what it is, but it feels like it's probably in the high 60s already this time of year. That's, that's fantastic. It feels great right now. There's a tug. Oh, I missed him. Whew, getting some light bites, but they are biting. So this is a good thing. Let's see what we can get going here. I have a feeling if I had some live crickets right now, I would just tear them up. It's a great thing about the Tenkara rods is they're made for casting flies. You can actually cast live crickets with no weight. And even bass will hit a live cricket with their, if there's no kind of split shot or anything on it. Uh, they seem to like them a whole lot better when they're weightless for whatever reason. I guess it just provides a more natural presentation. For my setup on my Takara rod here, I'm just using a line setup that I've mentioned before. I can put a link in the, in the video here so you can go check that out. But it's just a, a floating line that will slowly sink without doing anything to it. You don't have to treat it or anything. It will slowly sink if you don't knock the water off of it from time to time. Uh, now on a cast where you've knocked the water off of it with a false cast, it will float for quite a while. Um, and it just kind of picks up water. The material itself floats, it's polypropylene, so it floats real well. But if you have a lot of water that's gotten into the twists and turns of the line, it will weigh it down substantially and it'll lose its buoyancy somewhat. But I don't know if this is coming through on a camera, but it's floating just under the surface once it's gotten a little waterlogged and you can still see it real clearly. Oh, oh, I just missed that one. I just had to change my battery and it, is recording in 2.7k right now and I've been recording for about an hour so I would say that's pretty good battery use there I don't have any experience with these small action cameras but I think video recording at that kind of resolution for about an hour is, is pretty good there's a little one Uh-oh, he swam up under some sticks. There he is. All right, what we got here? Well, he's not big, but he's pretty to look at. They're all fun to me. <laughs> Back he goes. Well, I didn't know it, but my lavalier mic had been in the water for quite a while. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. 
I had no idea that thing had been in the water for who knows how long. I tell you what, if this thing continues to work after that, I will definitely put a link in my description for it because it has been in the water probably for five minutes or at least if I had to guess. I was doing something about five minutes ago and it was something I was getting into my backpack and if there was a time where that thing could have popped off that would have been it. So we'll see if this thing's working or not. If not I'm wasting my my breath but if it is still working, I will definitely leave a link in the description because I would call that a pretty good field test. Well, whether or not I'm catching a lot of fish, it sure is beautiful out here. Uh, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, but everything is just so green right now and there's a, uh, a nice kind of a cloudy backdrop that really just sets that green color off. It just pops right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring day for sure. And it's always good just to be out. Uh, sometimes fishing secondary to me. Um, I just enjoy being outside a lot and doing things. I wish I was with my family today fishing, but it won't be much longer and we'll be doing quite a bit of that, I'm sure. So I got something a little better here. I think I got hung up. Oh, no, it's not that good of one. But it's not a bad one. Looks like just a green sunfish here. Pretty fish. Yeah, good looking fella there. All right. Let's get him back in the water. I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. Not a whole lot going on today. I really think we'd do well with some live crickets out here. So what I might do is try to come back one day this weekend with my wife and the kids uh, if if we can find some time to do that and see if we can't get on some of these sunfish with some live crickets I think it'd be a lot more action um, they're real finicky right now for whatever reason I think with the live crickets that would do the trick uh, that's usually just a little too much temptation to resist so I'll wrap that up. Just wanted to try the camera out, get out and do a little fishing. First time I've been out this year. It's a really beautiful day. Uh, I had a good time. Hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys later.